in this satellite image you can see two massive cyclones developing in the northern and the southern hemisphere let's zoom in a bit into both these cyclones notice how the spirals of one in the northern hemisphere and the other in the southern hemisphere are oriented it's clockwise in the southern and anti clockwise in the northern hemisphere interesting right why do cyclones spin in the first place and why is that spin different in both the hemisphere let's step outside and visit a playground to understand what's causing this today we are in this park where we're going to demonstrate something very very interesting for you this is the place where kids play so i'll require two of them to actually help me out with this experiment hey there do you want to participate in a science experiment sure why not why don't you just get on to the merry go round Now I'll hand over this ball to you. You're supposed to throw it at her. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Did that come straight at you? Is that the same experiment? No, I'll make it a little difficult for you. What I will do is I'll rotate both of you and when I ask you to throw the ball, that's when you're supposed to throw it. Why don't you throw it now? What happened? Why weren't you able to catch it? I swear I threw it straight but it curved. Was there some kind of a force that deliberately took it away? Is that what you're saying? Yes. That is what we call as the Coriolis effect. Coriolis effect basically when the earth is moving or the earth is rotating, if there is a fluid like water or air, basically turns away as the rotation happens and that is what we call as the Coriolis effect. This is what you caught in the outside camera. Now let us see what the inside camera basically caught it as. Here's the basic idea. The earth is spinning on its axis from west to east. Because earth is a sphere and is wider in the middle, the points on the equator are spinning faster than the points near the pole. So, imagine that you were standing in Bangalore and you had a magic paper aeroplane that could travel hundreds of kilometers. If you throw it directly north of Bangalore, you might expect that it will land somewhere in Delhi. But it does not. That is because Bangalore spins faster than Delhi as it is closer to the equator. That means that at the point that you release the aeroplane, even that has the same rotational speed as Bangalore had. So, if you throw the paper plane straight north towards Delhi, from your point of view, the plane will take a curved path to the right towards Kolkata. The opposite will happen in the southern hemisphere. If you throw a plane down south, it will get deflected towards the left. This is exactly what will happen with a cyclone as well. In a cyclone in the center there are these areas of very low pressure. As a result high pressure air surrounding the center or the eye of the storm is consistently rushing towards the low pressure zone in the middle. Now because of the Coriolis effect the air rushing towards the center is deflected off course. In the northern hemisphere the air gets tugged slightly to the right. and the air tries to keep going in towards the center and the air constantly gets deflected to the right causing the entire system to swirl around in the clockwise direction and in the southern hemisphere the opposite happens where the coriolis effect pulls it slightly to the left and the cyclone moves in a counter clockwise direction if you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these like and subscribe to our channel now